BCS is building one of the most powerful AI stacks in the enterprise world and it's worth $12.2 billion. And TCS is doing it quietly with agentic AI, generative models and as I told you, a $12.2 billion order to prove it. While the world debates tariffs and tech layoffs, TCS is busy helping utility companies predict wildfires and ODD platforms rewrite movie scripts, all powered by AI. So what exactly is TCS doing in generative and agentic AI? Let's tell you. So let's give you a little backstory of how TCS just crossed $30 billion in revenue for financial year 25. Its net profit dipped slightly, 2% down year on year. But here is the kicker. K. Kritivasan, who is the CEO, said, and we are quoting him, our quarter four order book hit $12.2 billion, the second highest ever with no mega deals. This is not just luck, this is literally AI. But if you ask, what exactly is agentic AI? And why is TCS betting big on it? TCS defines it as the new form of enterprise automation, where AI agents don't just assist, they act autonomously on their own. Across business functions, they've already deployed over 150 plus agentic AI solutions. So let's tell you about some of these areas. Finance, accounting, supply chain, HR, areas like customer experience as well, and of course, procurement too, all integrated into their upgraded Wisdom Next 2.0 platform. With much faster onboarding, centralized governance, security guardrails as well, even a plug-and-play industry modules, TCS said in their earnings call, and we are quoting them, these agents are helping customers on the journey towards autonomous global business services. Generative AI that actually does work. I mean, forget prompt demos, TCS is using Gen AI to convert 50 million lines of COBOL into Java. Yup, legacy transformation. They are powering script analyzers for OTT platforms using viewership data. They are assisting drug discovery, filtering down 13,000 molecules to just 12. They are helping utility firms uh, analyze LIDAR, weather, satellite and vegetation data to predict wildfire risks. All real use cases, all enterprise scale. So what is the impact on business going to be like? Unlike others, TCS says that AI is not eating into their margins or replacing human employees at all. Samir Saksaria, who is the CFO of TCS, said, and we are quoting him, AI for business is mostly a net new opportunity. Productivity gains are shared, but there's a no margin reduction. And no, AI is not replacing jobs here. Milan Lucker, who is the CHRO, said, and we are quoting him, we don't see any impact on hiring because of AI. Clearly a much different take than a lot of other companies are taking. So if you're a TCS employee, you're pretty secure. In fact, TCS onboarded 42,000 trainees in financial year 25 and are ramping up hiring for financial year 26. But what about the profit rate? Yes, quarter four did see a net profit fall of 2% year on year. Margins took a 30 BPS hit. Why, if you ask? Is because TCS says it's mostly from, say, wage hikes, talent investments, Clearly, since they're hiring so much, then come CSR and marketing events, and then tactical merit promotions, and most importantly, tariff uncertainty. Mr. Krithivasan said, and we are quoting him, we observed delays in directionary decision making starting late February, but no major cancellations. And still, they are bullish. They said, and we are quoting them, we believe financial year 26 will be better than financial year 25. And they are backing it with a record deal pipeline. So let's talk about the future according to TCS. I mean, forget building your own LLMs from scratch. TCS's bet is on use case first Gen AI. Uh, enterprise ready agents, responsible deployments at scale. They filed 267 patents this quarter alone. They've been granted 235 new ones already. So what is their strategy behind this? It's simple. Don't build huge foundational models just for the sake of it. Rather, focus on real ROI. Build for regional language use cases to demonstrate access. Mr. Krithavasan said, we don't believe that building LLMs has a huge advantage unless the use case demands it. It's better to bring the tech to clients with measurable benefits. So at the end of this all, it's safe to say that while other IT giants slow down or say sit on the fence, TCS is executing on its own. They are embedding AI into everything from say code migration to wildfire risk prediction. They are not just consulting on AI, they are building on agentic workforce that scales globally, that is autonomous. So the next time you hear someone say AI is high, just point them to the $12.2 billion worth of TCS clients who disagree. What are your thoughts on this? 
tell us in the comments below which TCS AI use case blew your mind the most. We would love to hear your take. For more deep dives like this from the world of Indian IT, Indian AI, subscribe to AIM TV because think AI, think AIM.